What's up guys, it's your boy Milano Miguel, back at it again with another video. Today we'll be doing a recap of Europa League Match Day 5, so here we go. Here we go. Match day five in the Europa League, Milan versus Celtic. Now, getting into that, Padre Pioli and his assistant Morelli tested negative for COVID, so they are back on the pitch. Now let's get into the starting lineup. Donnarumma in goal, we get Dalot in the right back, Gabia, Kier, which I think was a mistake, he should have started Romagnoli. De Hernandez, we had Krunic and Kessier, Jean Peter Hauge, Hakan Chalonoglu, Samu Kassiejo, and Ante Rebic. Now, I'll say that Milan got off to a pretty terrible start, okay? It looked like we were fine, we created an attack in the first couple of minutes. Theo ran into the box and had a pass to Hauge, which Hauge tried to pass that off to Rebic, which ended up ultimately getting us a corner, and I thought like, you know, this is good momentum for us towards the game. But it turned out to switch the other way on the pendulum. And we ended up conceding a goal because Krunic doesn't know how to receive a pass. Um, so yeah, back pass, playing it out the back. Krunic makes a mistake. Celtic gets the ball. Rogic scores in the seventh minute. Milan go down 1-0 at the San Siro. Um, but what I did like about when we conceded that goal is Cassier was the only Milan player to go to Krunic and be like, hey, it's okay, keep your head up, like, we're still in the game, it's, it's not done and dusted, you know? Which was good. Then, four minutes later, Simon Kier would sustain an injury. Um, that man has played literally every single minute of this season. Um, so he definitely needed a rest. I don't know why Pioli thought Romagnoli needed the rest over Kier, who is 31 years old, but that mistake came to bite us in the ass. So Kier came off injured and El Capitano, Alicio Romagnoli, entered the pitch to replace him. Three minutes after that, Edouard would score a goal for Celtic, again off of poor playing out the back um, and just a poor mistake. And Milan go down 2-0 and you're starting to think, man, here we go shooting ourselves in the foot again. Are we going to be the Banta era Milan again or are we going to react as we've done in the past? We saw this happen um, with Hellas Verona, two goals down, came back 2-2. Two -two. We saw this with Juventus, went down, two goals down, came back 4-2. Can we do it again? After going 2-0 down, we muster some courage to try and, you know, get a goal. Now. It was a terrible foul on Rebic, and I know that Rebic wanted to kill the Celtic player, I forgot his name, um, but that ended up in a free kick, and none other than Hakan Chalonoglu would step up, strike the free kick, and score. Um, when was the last time we saw Hakan score from a, a free kick? Well, that was last season. Um, I think it was against Atalanta. Yes, yes it was. Um, so it was great seeing Chalonoglu get a goal. We needed that momentum. And then two minutes later, Samu Casillejo scores a goal off of a pass by Rebic. Milan are back in the game, 2-2. And I've got to say, quite impressive from Samu Casillejo. He's been getting kind of some stick for the last couple of games, but he showed up in this one. We go into halftime, 2-2. We're looking that after the half, we're going to come back, try to smash some more goals and get a win and, you know, make it into the round of 32 because this game was essential for us to qualify for that round um sparta prague was causing some trouble in the group so we needed to win this game to be able to be like yes we have qualified um kind of sucks that we're not going to win the group but it is what it is at this point we need the qualification it'll help us in the long run so after halftime tonali would enter the pitch for Krunic after his rather quite poor performance on the pitch, which we all kind of saw coming, you know, he gave away that goal, he just didn't look himself, he didn't look that confident. I think Krunic is more that player that comes off the bench, 
um, rather than a starter. But I see what Pioli was trying to do. He's trying to give all the other players rest. Um, and we should have won this game comfortably as, you know, Celtic isn't that good of a team right now considering how they're doing in their league. They're like going on a loose streak and it's just really bad. They're low on confidence. And us giving them two goals in the first half, we gave them confidence to think that they could win this game, which was not okay. Let's talk about John Spita Hauge or Haga, whatever you want to call him. That man made the brilliant run in the 50th minute into the box. Absolutely nutmeg the defender to score a goal. Now, I've noticed something. John Peter Hauj always scores the third goal for Milan. Is that coincidence or is that good luck? Like, is he just the man to finish the games off for us? Like, just amazing. Wonderful goal from John Peter Hauj. Um, Milan go up 3-2 in the 50th minute. Brahim Diaz and Ismail Benacer would make their way onto the pitch in the 61st minute, replacing Hakan Chalanoglu and Frank Kessier. The right substitution was made here. Give Kessier some rest, give Hakan Chalanoglu some rest, bringing some new energy into that midfield, and let's win this game. Celtic would then try to fight back when they were losing 3-2. Frimpong had an opportunity that went wide of the post, but that looked pretty dangerous if you asked me, and Milan needed to tighten up on defense. Alessio Romagnoli, El Capitano, who in his last game shushed the haters. Romagnoli showed up. I know we've been giving him some stick, but I've said this before. It's because he had an injury. He didn't have playing time. He needed time to transition. He transitioned, and he probably played arguably one of his best games for Milan. The defensive shift that he put in for Milan today was a reason why we did not lose. Also with Gianluigi Donnarumma and making him saves. Um, his positioning, his awareness, he was on point today for Milan in that defense. And that is why he is the captain. And that is why he shushed the haters because people were essentially shitting on him saying that he was not worth it. He's a one season wonder, blah, blah, blah. Like, shut up. The man just came back from an injury. Give him some time to get back into his form. Let's talk about how he saved Milan's ass when Ayer, a center back, literally ran all the way into Milan's box and inevitably almost took a shot on goal and tried to score. That was beautiful defending by Capitano Alessio Romagnoli. Christie would then take a free kick for Celtic in the 73rd minute in which Donnarumma would pull off a magnificent save. Um, again, Donnarumma, Romagnoli, very important players to Milan and the future of Milan. They stay, Milan can make it back to the Champions League. No question about it. These players continue to develop and continue to get better and better each day. Including that with their leadership qualities. Gijo was captain when Romagnoli was not there. And I've got to say, these players have grown and they stepped up and I really love it. Now let's talk about Hauge again. Just Peter Hauge make a beautiful run into the box once again this guy knows what he's doing in the 82nd minute lays it off to Brahim Diaz who chips it over the keeper and seals the game for Milan having Milan at a score of 4 to 2 and the 82nd minute you think once Diaz scored that goal it's a done deal the game is over Diaz celebrating with the heart I think he's trying to bring out his inner Alexander Pato or he's indicating that he wants to stay at Milan for a very long time and does not want to go back to Real Madrid. Then let's talk about Sandro Tonali, another one who I have said needs time to develop. He pulled off this outrageous block and deflection from a shot from Encham in the 83rd minute that actually looked like it had a chance to going into the goal. Probably, you know, an own goal, but Bravo, Sandro Tonali. Bravo. That was a beautiful save. And then we had Lorenzo Colombo come on the pitch and replace Ante Rebic in the dying minutes of the game. Um, overall, amazing win for Milan. Um, we showed grit. We showed determination. We showed fight. We showed character. And that is what Zlatan Ibrahimovic has brought into this team. If you looked at Zlatan Ibrahimovic on the bench when Milan was looking 2-0, he wasn't a happy camper. He wasn't happy at all, but this team, even without him, even without their big players, with the injuries of Kier, they still managed to overcome. They had that fight to win mentality, and that is what Milan has created this season that has differentiated them from every other team in Serie A right now, in my opinion. 
Now, going on to that, yes, the Kier injury is a bit of a scare. We only have three good center to backs to rotate. Musakio looks like he's on his way out with free transfer. Duarte, nobody knows what he's gonna do, honestly. So we're hoping that the Kier injury isn't too long because we're gonna need to rest Gabia and Romagnoli eventually. Um, but we're wishing him a speedy recovery. Man of the match has to be John Spita Hauja. The goals, the assists, the tracking back on defense, everything he did was just amazing. And again, John Spita Hauja was an absolute steal on the transfer market. Such a great game. Milan sit in second place in the Europa League. We're basically qualified guaranteed qualification into the round of 32. We are probably going to play a team that gets demoted from Champions League, which sucks because if we won the group, we would have gotten an easier game. But we can worry about that later. I think this game was important for us to have this type of performance because once we get to that round of 32, the round of 16, quarterfinal, semifinal, we can't really make those mistakes and hope that this result happens because we're going to be facing tougher opponents with better quality. Um, but overall, a very good win. The giveaway winner. So, the giveaway winner is the winner of the Milan Miguel AC Milan kit giveaway is Carl Yamain for his comment right here. Um, thank you for supporting the YouTube channel and thank you for your kind words. Congratulations, you have won a third kit in the size medium. I will be mailing this to you soon enough. I would love to do more giveaways in the future, so stay tuned for that. Um, thank you all for supporting the channel. Andiamo ragazzi, Forza Milan, and peace.